you guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having a great day it is thanksgiving week so i'm excited for some family time lauren's actually already in town and amanda's coming in a few days so i'm really excited to take you guys along right now i'm looking at the most beautiful fall tones when you look out the windows to the backyard you see all the fall colors red orange yellow so beautiful, mashallah. So it is my mom's birthday today, so I'm gonna be making some pumpkin bread. I feel like there's an elephant in the room, and that is I used to do so much cooking content on my channel, and I used to like share healthy recipes with you guys all the time. All of a sudden, what's that noise? All of a sudden, I just stopped cooking. It's mainly because I had such terrible stomach issues that I couldn't like eat anything. I just stopped sharing cooking because I wasn't cooking. I stopped sharing my food because it was all just bland, like oatmeal and bananas and plain chicken and rice. Alhamdulillah, since I got pregnant with Jonah, my stomach issues have gotten like 90% better. I'm planning on doing a little bit more cooking content on my channel if that's something you guys are interested in. Anyways, I have like 20 cans of pumpkin in my pantry right now. I think this happens to me all the time. Like every year I'm like, oh, I wanna make pumpkin bread. And then I just stock up on pumpkin. Somehow I don't use it. And then the next year I don't realize that I still have pumpkin. I also have all the ingredients to make this tortellini soup. I kind of have a recipe for like a minestrone soup. I'm kind of just gonna do that and add the tortellini in there. If you followed me for a while, you guys know my cooking style is just like follow the recipe like very loosely. <laughs> Let's get to cooking. pumpkin bread is in the oven I'm gonna go ahead and start on the soup basically my recipe for minestrone soup which has a base of this is a vegetable broth marinara sauce basil zucchini and squash carrot celery dark red kidney bean tortellini I really wanted just the cheese I'm not sure how the spinach and cheese is gonna go over with Elena she loves tortellini and she loves soup so both together inshallah she will eat this and spinach and then we also have onion and garlic as well so those are my ingredients Tried to hold them as long as I could. <laughs> Nick, it's my baby. You about yeah. to get started? I finished the pumpkin bread and now I'm just gonna do this. Oh, you it made pumpkin bread too? Yeah, it shouldn't okay. take me that long. Nice. <laughs> baby. You wanna eat some pumpkin bread, baby? <laughs> oh, maybe, you some, love it. maybe some pureed pumpkin. <sighs> That'd be yummy. Okay, he'd better now. We had a breastfeeding break. I forgot he hadn't eaten in like probably four hours. I bet you had something at your grandma's house. I did. I bet. What did he have? Yeah, I love me. Love me? <laughs> of course. baby's ready for another nap because he keeps screaming the entire time that I'm cooking. So I just put the instant pot on and we're gonna go settle down and hopefully take a little nap. I'm gonna change his diaper and then rock him and then I'll finish the food. Anytime I find myself like struggling with, I mean right now I just have the one baby with me. I just always think back to like how did my mom do it? She had four little kids, didn't have a job, but her job was taking care of the house, cooking, cleaning, <laughs> taking care of like, how do you do all of that with four kids? I do not know. My parents didn't really have that much support around them. They didn't have a lot of family around them and stuff like that. So like the help that I get from my mom and my mother-in-law, like my mom didn't have that. So I'm just like, did I become weak? Like how was my mom so strong to be able to do all that? And I, I can't even, I feel like I can't even send one email with my babies with me. Like it's so hard. I thought he was ready for a nap, but turns out he wasn't. He just wanted to nurse. It is smelling really good in this house right now. I'm gonna take the pumpkin bread out and check in, see what's going on, um, see if it's finally done. And then I'm gonna finish off the soup once it's ready as well. Here we have 
love it. <gasps> Jojo. You just poop it. Yay! It looks so delicious. Let me just test and see how clean it comes out. Okay, that's pretty good. That is good. It took him like an hour and a half to cook this thing. I don't know why. I'm really hoping that he takes his nap in the next like 30 minutes or so because I have a call with my therapist on BetterHelp in about an hour. Now more than ever, my anxiety has been through the roof and talking to a professional is one of the best ways that helps me. BetterHelp is a company I've used for the last couple years for online therapy and thank you so much to them for sponsoring today's video. Talking to someone is one of the most important things that we can do for ourselves, but many of us don't even know where to start. Finding a therapist can be a daunting task and BetterHelp solves that. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist that's trained to listen to you and give you helpful, unbiased advice. Starting therapy can be really hard and the right therapist for you may not even be in your area. And some people find that face-to-face -face interaction with the therapist really uncomfortable. I know I do, which is why I like to do it over the phone. On BetterHelp, you can do your therapy on a call, on video chat, and even via messaging, whichever form of therapy is most comfortable for you. BetterHelp can help match you to one of 30,000 therapists, which gives you a much wider range of choices than what's just in your area. To get started, you just fill out a questionnaire and most of the time you get matched with a therapist within 48 hours and then you'll be able to schedule your therapy sessions at a time that's convenient for you if the therapist that you first match with is not really a good fit for you which is common with therapy then it's easy to switch your therapist at no additional cost and you don't have to worry about your insurance or who's in your network or anything like that people tend to spend so much time on their physical health and like going to the gym and like me with like pilates and yoga and stuff but your mental health is just as important so why not spend that time nurturing your mental health as well. Over 4 million people have used BetterHelp to live a healthier, happier life. I will have my link down below where you can get 10% off your first month. So you can click the link in my description or you can go to betterhelp.com slash Lena. And thanks again to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Okay, the soup is finished. Fresh basil, some spinach, and the tortellini. Since this is basically already cooked and just needs like three, four minutes, I figured I would just add it at the end. I didn't want it to be like cremated. <laughs> I've got this soup, which is ah, so the tortellini soup, which I'm gonna taste test. I already taste tested the pumpkin bread, which did not, um, which I couldn't cut very pretty, but believe me, it is delicious. Taste test time. Let me get a big piece of tortellini in there. Bismillah. It's so good. It's a couple days later and today's Thanksgiving. We're at my mom's house. We've been here for a couple, well actually like an hour or so. And then tonight we're actually planning on going to Omar's mom's. They're both having dinner at the exact same time on Thanksgiving. So we really had to like figure out what we were gonna do, but we're, we decided to go to Omar's mom's for dinner. Then the rest of the weekend we'll spend with my family since Amanda and Muhammad are coming and then Lauren and Usama are here. Let me show you guys what we're up to. It's Jojo's first Thanksgiving. Lele's watching Strawberry Shortcake and eating some mac and cheese. That mac and cheese is so good. Yeah, I tried to piece it's so good. And Lele playing with baby. We made it to my mother-in-law's house and they really outdid themselves. Oh my god, this looks so good. Yummy. Okay, it is the next day. It's Friday and Amanda and Muhammad just got here. Um, Elena's already at my mom's house, so I'm gonna go in there and see them in just a second. But I don't know, I just needed like a little heart to heart before I go inside. Y'all, this stage of motherhood is so hard and I think I'm just feeling it extra hard this week because um, Elena's not in school. It's a miracle that I was able to even like put on a little bit of makeup get somewhat ready. Um, literally the whole time that I was getting ready today, Jonah was crying and Elena was just jumping everywhere and it was just chaos. I can literally hear Elena screaming inside. The stage of motherhood is literally so hard. It just, like, Jonah needs me so much. Um, he also will not be put down for naps anymore. So I have to literally hold him. I'm literally just feeling like so trapped right now. Like I literally can barely leave my house. And here I am coming to my mom's and we went to my mother-in-law's last night, but that's literally the only places that I go is my house and my mom and my mother-in-law's house. We went to Target the other day with Lauren. It was for an hour and Jonah cried the whole time I was gone. I just like, I literally cannot leave. Uh, I don't know, and it just even makes me feel bad even saying it, that I'm struggling right now in motherhood because like, alhamdulillah, my kids are healthy and safe and that's all that matters. But gosh, like, 
this is not easy. Another thing is just seeing my sisters, like they are just not in that stage of life that having kids at all yet. So I feel like nobody in my family except for my mom can really like relate and like understand like what I'm going through fully. I don't know. Anyways, I just felt like I had to vent for a second and we're gonna go inside. Silly. Amanda's here. Hello. <laughs> hey, show us the game. Okay, show, us. show mom how we play the game. Get the leaves. One, two, three. <laughs> Got out Elena's old little activity center for Jonah, and they're both loving it. <laughs> Dinner at my parents' house. They grilled all the good stuff. I was able to lay baby Jojo down, thank God, so I could eat. Our first time having a meal together since Lauren's wedding, and we were not even all sitting together for Lauren's wedding because obviously they were entertaining. Oh yeah, Tito wasn't here. Yay! Today is Sunday. We just said goodbye to Amanda and Lauren and oh, literally we were all crying. It just, I was actually gonna try to film us saying bye but I didn't realize it was gonna be so emotional. Um, they're supposed to be coming back for like Christmas time in a few weeks so we're gonna see them again soon inshallah. It just feels like so natural for them to be here and then it just feels like they're being ripped away whenever they have to leave and go home to their husbands and everything. It reminded me of like my dad because all of his siblings and him, they live apart. Um, there's nine of them and a lot of them still live in Jordan. So I remember when we were little and we used to visit Jordan and we'd be saying our goodbyes there. They would just be in tears like at the airport and like just the longest hugs and just like saying farewell and just like not knowing exactly like when you're gonna see each other again. Thankfully like we're not in different countries like we're you know just a short plane right away or just a you know five hour drive. It's still like just so hard. Right now I'm sitting outside my parents house. I left Elena inside with my mom and dad so I can run home and grab her jacket and her socks and shoes. I'm gonna take her to the park and it's actually a lot colder than I thought it was gonna be today. Then we're gonna head to the park, take Miss Lele cause she's gotta get out, she's a busybody. Then I need to go to the grocery store later and get some stuff for the week. I think that's all my plans for the day. 